In this particular lecture, let's learn how to conditionally render components in React. So till this point, we have learned how to create components, how to render them, but we have not learned how to conditionally render a given component uh, depending upon a given condition. So in order to understand this, let's create a brand new component called as conditional component. So this name does not make any sense, but this is just for understanding. So I'll name this thing as conditional component dot jsx so over here i would say export default function conditional component all right so let's make this thing return a div for now and in this particular div let's say we want to return two elements which are h3s so i'll create an h3 element here and another h3 element in here so let's say the first heading says this is a conditional component and let's say this thing says something like code every day. All right. So and now, even before learning how exactly to conditionally render certain components, uh, let's learn how we could conditionally render a specific JSX element. So right now, if you take a look at this, this entire code over here is JSX. Uh, but let's say we have a condition over here and depending upon that condition we want to decide if we want to return uh, this h3 tag or this h3 tag so uh, let's have a condition here so let's say uh, we have a conditional variable like display whose value could be set to true or false so over here i'll create a simple javascript variable called as display let's set its value to false which is a boolean value and uh, let's say I want to display this heading only when the value of this is true. So over here, I could simply write in my regular JavaScript code. So as this is not JSX and JSX actually starts when we have the return statement, that means over here, I don't have to use curly brackets to write a JavaScript. So over here, I could simply say if display. So this is plain, simple JavaScript here. So I would say if the display is true, that means I want to return the first thing. Uh, which is this div right here so i would say return and uh, let's simply get this particular tag right here so i would cut this and let's say i want to return let's return a div first and let's place that heading inside that div all right so if that's the case then i want to return this so let's also add an else statement over here to this as well so if that is not the case in that particular case i want to return this so else return this so i'll just get this paste it up over here and i could now get rid of this return statement and if i save this right now now you'll be able to see that we have a conditional here and we are conditionally rendering or deciding what exactly is going to be displayed on the screen so right now the display is set to false that means this condition would be false and the code inside the else block would be executed and therefore we will get this particular jsx rendered so in order to make a check if that's the case, let's go to app.jsx and let's include the conditional component here. So conditional component, make sure that it's imported. And now if I could go back to the browser, it says code every day. And that's because currently the display value is set to false. So what if I actually change this thing to true? So if I change it to true, save the code, and if I go back here, as you can see, as the condition is now true, so as you can see now, this particular JSX is rendered. So this is how you could go ahead and conditionally render JSX. But what about components? So now let's learn how exactly we could conditionally render components instead of JSX. So over here, I would create a new component and let's name that component as code.jsx. And over here, I would say export default function let's say code and over here i'll simply return a div and inside this div i would simply include the heading which i have here which is code every day so let's write it down instead of copying and pasting so code every day all right so if we have this heading and let's say we also have some other component here so i'll create another component here let's call that component as welcome.jsx I would say export default function that's going to be welcome and let's return a div here 
And let's have a simple H1 here, which would say something like, you are welcome. All right. So now let's get back to our main conditional component here. And let's decide which component to render depending upon the condition here. So in order to avoid confusion, let's write the code from scratch. So let's get rid of the previous code from here. And let's simply have a component which does not return anything as of now. All right. So now, depending upon the condition, we want to display the component which is welcome or code. So if the condition is set to true, uh, let's say we want to display welcome. And if the condition is false, we want to display the code component. So over here, I could say, if the display, if this is set to true, that means I want to now return the welcome component. So I would simply say welcome here and make sure that your welcome component is automatically imported. If not, go ahead and manually import that on your own. Close this tag. Or else, if that's not the case, then I want to return the code component. So I would say code here. All right. So if I save this, and if I go back here, as you can see, it says you're welcome because display is set to true. So as display was set to true, it returned the welcome component. If I set it to false, it will now display the code component. So this is how you could conditionally render components. However, there's one minor problem with this kind of rendering of components. And that problem is that it's actually not a good practice to have multiple return statements over here inside our function. And that's because our component is a function and typically a function should only return one single value instead of returning multiple values. So in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn how we could use element variables in order to render JSX or components and how element variables actually helps us to avoid using two return statements inside a component. So let's learn about element variables in the next one.